Hello, my friends. I am going to fulfill a request that was made some time back by many different people. I want to go ahead and just show you how I apply my acrylic nails. It's simple and it's difficult at the same time, and it does take practice. But first, let me just um, show you the tools that I use. Let's lay those out. Always got to keep some kind of uh, washcloth available. I'm just going to set it right here by the water. Open up my bag of goodies. Oh, by the way, this big bag has all my nail tricks in it, but don't need them right now. Alright, these are for... Uh, cutting the nails after I'm done applying them and this is my super duper strong nail file because the acrylic nails are quite uh, strong and this is for my manicure and I will show you how that works in a moment spare nail file. This is the kind of glue that I use. It's by Dashing Diva called Fast Bond. I don't know the official name for this, but it does help in a manicure to push back cuticles. And I use this, well, I'll show you what I use that for. There's nothing else in here that I need at the moment to set that aside. Okay, let's begin. And your first step, well, it depends on whether you're wearing nails already. The first step would be to take them off, and that is why I brought out this to show you the most clever nail polish remover, but it also removes these guys. It simply works like this, very simply, and I'm not going to do a video on that ever, ever. You would just put your finger in there, one at a time, but you have to keep it in there. I think I take about... <laughs> Kitty's eating over there. I don't know if you can hear her crunching. Anyway, I think I leave it in there and swish it around. See, there are bristles in there that help melt and remove the acrylics. And I think I take about five minutes per nail. I don't know. Seems like forever, but anyway, that is just like magic and everyone must use that if they're trying to take off their acrylic nails. What it is, it is pure acetone. Dries your hands and your nails out really bad, so you don't want to do that very often. So, these are the nails that I'm using today. Uh, by Kiss. I am not promoting them, and I'm not being paid by them. I'm just... I use all kinds. I'll show you. Well, this is also KISS, as it just so happens, but they are the leading brand in this kind of thing. And you may recall that I wore these Christmas nails in December. Those were fun. So I save everything. Anyway, you would simply, if you bought these either from Amazon or from your local drugstore, you can get them either place, they provide you with glue, but I prefer this glue because I found out that it's creamier 
and it removes a little easier. And I need that because I don't want to keep my nails on for very long. Um, and then, so they give you your sizes right up front here, but... You open it up, and oh, you drop it all over the place because you're me. <laughs> okay, so then your remaining sizes are in here, and hopefully you should have enough. So, I am going to remove this out of the picture because I have already picked out my nails from another set. So, and they are here. I did this hand first because this hand is very um, hard, much harder to do. Left hand doing your right hand, oh my goodness. So you got a battle on your hands there, um, no matter how you slice it. So, it's practice, practice, practice. I've been doing this ever since the, what do you call, coronavirus started. So, begin by putting your tools out, making them available. And also cover your table surface because you can destroy quite easily the surface, your work surface, with the, either the glue or the acetone. They are both very destructive to most materials. Wood, plastic, what, whatever, whatever. So, okay, I am back and I just needed about, I think, five minutes. Dry your nails off really well. Get this thing out of my way because I won't need it anymore. Let's look at, okay, speaking of looking at, I need magnifying glasses. These are not regular readers. They are super duper magnifiers. You do not have to use a magnifying glass if you don't want. So cool. Okay, now I can see everything brilliantly and up close. And I will try to make some of this up close for you as well. So. We will begin with our handy dandy nail pusher. <laughs> That's what we're going to call it because I have no clue what the official name is. Okay. Continuing with my middle finger. The beauty of this little tool also is that it scrapes really well too. So if you have like leftover acrylic on your nails, it'll scrape that off. Um, or just any debris on your nails or even an uneven spot. I don't know if you can see any of that coming off. So it isn't so I understand it isn't the healthiest thing in the world to push your cuticles back, especially if you're trying to grow them out. It does not speed up growth. I want to dispel that myth. Um, this is only for me for the purpose of, well, some people do it for appearances and because they think it looks neater. And some people do it for nails like I am. I want the cuticles out of the way so I can get the nail back in as close as possible. So I'm done with that tool. There are other things you could use the tip of this for and I use it every once in a while but 
not typically. So this is when you need this tool. You're all done pushing your cuticles back and you find that you have some spare skin and you would clip. You may not be able to see quite what I'm clipping off, but I am getting spare cuticle off of there. I'll try to get a close-up for you so you can see everything that I'm doing. There isn't usually too much of this because I do my nails frequently enough, which is why my nails do not look in the best of shape. I was going to the nail salon for quite some time and never gave my nails a chance to breathe. So, now I have some issues. So, I want to give fair warning to those who go get their nails done at the salon if you're new at it. Just realize that there can be repercussions and you're looking at it. <laughs> I read once that it takes a six month interval for your nails to grow out completely. So if you ever have issues with your nails, one week is not going to do it. You need to let them breathe for a very long time and grow out. Okay. I feel like these are ready enough to apply nails to them. The other thing you want to do is get your nails down as short as you want them. The shorter the better in my opinion because otherwise you will see them on the underneath of your nail and it isn't always attractive and it collects uh, debris and food and whatever else you might be doing with your fingers. Okay, so these sad little nails are going to be covered up right now. Let us begin with the thumb. And I also want to show you, oh, yes, before we go any further, you need to keep one of these guys ready because you're not going to use your wash washcloth for what I want to use this for. Okay. This is going to be to wipe off excess glue. And so I wanted to show you that as of late, I have been using, and if anyone can, these really, really inexpensive, inexpensive press-on nails. They're press-on, meaning you can get these little tabs that are sticky. Lay them on your nail. Get the right size first. And then press on your nail. Now, I'm not going to demonstrate that because I have never used the tabs of um, sticky. I just don't like them. But you would go through, and you do a similar thing with these. Um, you would go through and fit your nail ahead of time, okay? Which is the right size. And you will know by... See, this one doesn't fit me because it won't lay flat unless I push hard. That means that your glue is going to have a harder time holding it down because it's already got a lot of natural resistance. So it's better to go a little bigger 
than it is to go too small. So I'm going to use this one. It might feel or appear just at first like it's too big, but once you get it in two corners, it works great. Now these inexpensive um, uh, ones that I got in bulk from Amazon, they are um, indented more than this other brand because they are allowing for a nice cushy sticker underneath it and I don't use it. So when I use these, I put extra glue and that is why the Dashing Diva glue is so good is because it's a gel and it even says on here gap filling. It fills the gap and it's non-yellowing and water resistant. So that's what's great about those. I have ridges in my nails because of a uh, past acrylic nail application and so this glue fills it up. So it worked the same way with these. So you just pick one for each nail, the right size, same way you would do with this package. And you lay them out. I am ready to start applying. So let me just advise you on how I actually glue and apply. I've seen it done many different ways. Some people like to apply the glue to their finger. I don't do that. I used to, but I don't anymore. And that is because I wind up with too much glue. This being a gel, the most important location for me is the edges going along that are going to land right here. So I apply it to the edges. Fairly thick, but I definitely want it on the edge because the most important part of the nail and its appearance, you see I went all the way up about that far and then I kind of bring it out to the edges to make sure I've got a good thick amount and that is because the edges are the part that get the most appearance. If you have a lot of lifting and you see a seam in there, it just doesn't have as nice of an appearance. So. The other thing about keeping the glue off the top of your finger is you can not worry about it getting on other stuff. Okay, so the way that I apply this is you don't just press it right on top. You actually put it inward toward your nail and make sure you get as close and tight into the cuticle as possible. Push in lay down. Hold it for 10 seconds. Okay, now let's take our little swab and wipe off any extra glue. Look at there. Okay, press in on your edges. Make sure that you've got glue under all your edges and that they are equally secure and adhered. Need a bottle of cotton. Okay, I got a little glue on the surface of my nail. That is why, you know, it takes a lot of practice to keep your hands out of the glue. But I think that turned out pretty nicely. I have crooked um, nail beds, so there have been times where I have actually taken the bottom of a nail and with a much nicer file, I have shaped it. They don't turn out as nice, but, I, but it, you can. You can get away with it, at least for a little while. Okay, so I think that's it enough time to dry. Let's move on to the next one. Oh, missed a step. This is the most important as well. 
this is what I use this stick for. This is the same tool as this, but this is permanent and I don't want to get glue on it. So I use the stick and I go under the ridge of my nail and remove extra glue. This is what my paper towel is good for. Go under there and get as much off the under nail as you can because the glue is not so pretty. And you don't want your skin <laughs> getting stuck under there. Okay? Let's do the next nail. Alright, so those of you who are watching who think that I am a professional and that I am doing this to really actually teach Think twice. This is just a request for my subscribers who were curious about how I handle my nails. See, went around the edges first, filled in this part, and just spread out to the edges. Always want to make sure that the glue is thick around the cuticle. You only get one chance at this, <laughs> so you've got to be straight. I'm naturally crooked here, so my nail's going to be a little bit crooked. Set it down, get under the cuticle as much as you can, lay it down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. I go back over, get the extra glue off, wiping this way so you don't get it on the nail like I did on my last one. Okay, I kind of go around and secure the edges, double duty. Okay, this one went on really nicely. I have short nail beds. My nails just don't grow very long, which is why I wear acrylic nails in the first place. So it would be preferable for me to use a nail that actually has a French manicure that actually comes back further than this, because you can see where my nail ends under here if you are going to examine up close like we're doing today. Okay, so if you have a crooked nail bed like I do and you can see that this is kind of going out that way, the reason I don't try to fix the bottom of it anymore to match the shape of my nail is because it just doesn't turn out as nice. So I try to correct it through filing. And I will do more this way to, oh, you know, to correct. It's going this way, so shave off more that way. I will demonstrate that in a little bit. Let's go ahead. The other thing I like about Dashing Diva glue and gel is I can leave the cap off. And it is not going to uh, dry up. It's not going to clog up or dry up. I love that about it. So we're just putting the glue around the edges here. Fill in a little bit at the bottom. Pull it out towards the edges. Okay. Push it into the cuticle first. Uh, 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 careful, Rebecca. Then lay it down. Push it in, lay it down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wipe off the glue. Okay, that one worked pretty good. I could use a little, could have used a little more glue on the edge of this one. We're going to be able to see it just a bit. This side turned out very nice. 
Okay, here's another thing to remember. Before you apply your nails, you would want to either dip them in acetone or just make sure that you've washed them really well with soap and water. Right now, all I'm trying to do is get off this funny cotton because I got glue on my fingers. Okay, don't like that. Extra glue on my fingers. This removes glue pretty well, but not immediately and not the best. But if you're really desperate to get glue off of your hands, file it. And I might do that later. Now, let's remove the glue out from under our previous nails, which is still a little gooey. Let's get that out of there. I got a blood blister the other day. Something just smacked my skin in between it. And boy, oh boy. I didn't cry, but I screamed. <laughs> That's the other thing about my nail tutorial is that I am not, um, I am an ASM artist, so my nail tutorial is unofficial, and I will let you in on all of my boo-boos and foibles here. There we go. And we are just going to do this together like friends at a table. This one a little better, hopefully. And as I said, this takes so much practice. So don't expect perfection the first time around. You're just going to get glue all over the place. You are. Okay. Under the cuticle. Careful, Rebecca. Then lay it flat. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep in mind it is not dry yet. You are just trusting that it's going to hold while you are doing other things. This is turning out okay. You notice that my right hand is shorter than my left because I did my right hand previous to this video and I do not like them this long, although I've worn them this way before. Okay, last nail, guys. We are almost done and ready to move on to the next step. Let's just get her done out to the edges under the cuticle. disguise that some. Okay. Let's close this and get the glue out from under our last two nails. Okay. Now, what we are on to now is the nail clipper. This is a very unusual clipper because it cuts the shape of your nail. So if you want it, if you put it more in like that, you're going to get the wrong shape. Put it out more like this and you're going to get a rounded cut. Just put it straight up and down. You're going to get a square cut. So it depends on how you hold it. Now, I tend to like square nails, so I'm going to Try to cut it up and down. All right. 
Maybe I'll take a little more than that. Because I don't like my thumbnails to be longer or too long. It's what we do so much with. All right, I am going to try to adjust the shape of that nail. It's crooked right now, but we'll fix that. <laughs> okay. I need to do this where I can actually see it myself and show you at the same time. Okay, go a little shorter with this one. A little shorter with this one. Now me, well back up. Okay, a little shorter with this one. Here we go. I might have to adjust them because these are longer. We'll see. Make all of them shorter. I don't know. This is where you decide your length and your shape because you can make them oval. When I've gone to the um, nail salon, many times they have come in on the sides and just brought it in, add a diagonal, like so, and that's okay, I'm not a huge fan of that, but I usually take off the corners, because even though I like, I like what you call squoval, and square oval, so, I'm going to take off the edges. So like I said, I have a uh, crooked fingernail bed. So I'm going to compensate by leaving a little more length and white on the right side and make it shorter on the left. Hopefully it won't be as obvious. So once you have filed, take off a little, neaten it up with the softer side of your nail file and get rid of the extra debris. Okay. Same thing with this. You will. I have a crooked nail and it wants to go that way. So I'm going to give it more length on this side. I take it down here. Oops. We're using the rough side right now of our nail file do a quicker file job. Okay, see they're turning out much shorter on this side. Take off the edges and we're making it squoval. Squoval. Okay, I know a lot of people who say that they like the shorter better than the longer. I haven't completely made up my mind. Well, I have made up my mind because I did these shorts. You can't make short longer. <laughs> so, there we go. Take off those sharp edges. Get the extra debris out from underneath. Smooth it out. Looks like this one's got a little more. There we go. And like I said, if you don't like this kind of thing, the other way I can trick my crooked nail is to come in here and bring it in on the side. That helps a little bit. Okay. We are almost... Oh, look, I'm bleeding. Rebecca. I'm always talking to myself, but now I'm talking to you. Okay, so I have not gotten excellent at this yet myself. 
So don't expect it of yourself if I can't get good after a year. Mm, you know, what can you do? Just your best. Best you can do. So what I want to do is bring this one in a little bit because I have such a crooked nail. Try to trick the eye a little bit by bringing it in. Mm, kind of. Once you get started doing stuff, people don't notice quite as much. If I'm just doing this kind of thing, you don't really see it. Okay. After you are all done, it is very important then you can do all your refining, all the refining you want to do, but it's very, very important that after you've used all of these acetone products that you get some lotion on your hands as quickly as possible. Your skin and your cuticles are really, really important. No matter what you're doing. So, let's get our little pads put away. My extra nails. I'll see, I got a little bit of glue on the tablecloth. That's just what I'm talking about. It's really easy, really easy to mess up your surface. Didn't need that rag after all. Okay, this was only used for water. Get this in here. I think we're good. I think we're done. I'll put these back in the wash. And I just want to thank you all so much for, for being with me here today and watching my <laughs> ridiculous attempts at trying to be a nail salon artist person. What do you think? Okay? Yeah, I'll shorten these to match these. That's all right. Okay. I hope you enjoyed this video. And we shall see you in the next one.